I love that you had your son up there. And since I'm a mom blogger and I write for OC Family, tell me a little about this cooking with kids. When you start seeing kids understand the investment of what good food is, mm -hmm. it's it's overwhelming. And we just, uh, three years ago, just got legislation passed uh, in California. As a matter of fact, I went to the Senate floor and received the resolution. Um, the, the second Saturday of May is Cook With Your Kids Day. Oh. It's about all those facets of cooking with your kids. Not just making the food mm -hmm. and not just making things they want to eat, but it's about this entire empowerment factor. How do you get your kids to do it? Just like I said up there today, go make them feel the potatoes. Oh, here you go. You want to cook with dad? Okay, good. Uh, go over here. No, they want to do exactly what you're doing. So what you have to do is step out of the leadership role, or be the leader, but step out of it and let them turn the chicken on the grill. Let them have the hot spot. Let them see the smoke. Let them feel it. You know what? They all want to work with the knife. That's the truth. So best thing you can do, what? Teach them not to touch knives at all? No. Teach them knife skills. Maybe don't give them a machete to work with, but teach them good knife skills. Teach them how to hold the knife and hold the hand. Granted, not the four-year-old. Okay? <laughs> right. But migrate them, develop them into these different levels of, of cooking. And, and give them the chance to, and you know what my favorite thing is, is let them choose what you're gonna cook. Oh, we're not gonna have chocolate chips for dinner, okay? We're not gonna have chocolate chip cookies for dinner. Right. But here's what we'll do. You wanna make chocolate chips, cookies for, for dessert? Fine, here's the other three things we're gonna make. You in? Let's go. My kids are my life, that's, that's the foundation of it all. And to know what it does for him, not just the culinary aspect, pride, self-respect, uh, motivation, confidence, I mean, all these things that food instills. You know, I remember when I was 10, I made my first meal, and I remember my dad sitting there, and he took a bite of the steak, and he looked at me, sitting down his fork and knife, and I'm like, oh man, I'm in for it. I'm gonna get it now. And he looks at me and he says, you know, this might be the best steak I ever had. And I, I couldn't have, I turned into a lion. I mean, it was just, uh, hear me, I mean, it was the most amazing feeling in the world. And I sat there and I looked at him and I looked around the table and I said, so let me get this straight. I can cook, we get to eat meat. We weren't in eating meat then as a family. <laughs> My parents are macrobiotic. I can cook, I make people happy. And I can cook and my sister has to do the dishes. <laughs> I'm born to do this. So to me, it's so multifaceted what it does for your kids. Let them experience that joy of everybody eating the cookies and going, these are great cookies. That sense of pride, that sense of ownership. This is so much more than putting food on a plate. This is, this is empowering children. Uh -oh.